ladies and gentlemen. Our talk, uh, my talk today is about DDoS attack also. And thank you very much for previous speakers to introduction to this problem. But I would like to note that uh, now Internet of Things uh, is a very important uh, application for uh, D D uh, botnets because we have to have special uh, solutions to resolve the problem if we cannot, uh, if we cannot control uh, the links between uh, victim and sources. The problem is that few approaches are actually practical for real-world deployment. To create an alternative method, we should satisfy the following principles. Our first uh, principle, real-world applicability. Now, we know uh, a lot of different approaches require significant changes of the existing network architecture of internet service providers or entire internet. However, transit ISPs actually suffer very little from such attacks. Thus, our solution, you can see uh, some later, uh, must be designed to prevent Uh, the solution must be designed to prevent misuse. Therefore, it must be impossible to exploit the method to increase impact issues by an attack or to filter legitimate uh, traffic. So, the second, our solution ensures robustness of already established connections between the victim and legitimate client. Now, the main idea of our DDoS prevention approach is dynamic, pseudo-random calculation of valid server's IP address for each packet of each client session. During the session, we uh, switch the IP address. This is key idea of our. Uh, approach. We are replacing constant server's IP address by an IP from the large pool. IP version 6 is very good uh, support for uh, such type of idea. Each of them, uh, IP address from the pool, relates to a number of physical switches in different networks. Only one address is valid for each particular packet at the each particular time. We are calling this method as IP fast popping. Our approach is similar to radio systems uh, with frequency hacking. In such system, receiver and transmitter are switching from one frequency to another frequency uh, synchronously during the one talk, during one session. A main factors transmitter, which is going to introduce a noise into such session, has not an actual schedule of frequency hopping. Therefore, such attacker cannot create a noticeable harm for the legitimate transmitter defended by frequency hopping mechanism. In our case, frequency can be treated like IP address. So, le the legitimate client must know schedule of servers, IP address changing, but the, uh, another uh, botnet cannot know such type of schedule. 
At the same time, the schedule should be unavailable for non-legitimate clients. Without protection, the real IP address of the server is available for all internet terminals as the entire in DNS. During brute force DDoS attacks on unprotected server, a number of uh, malfactor terminals and legitimate users connect to the victim at the same time. Each bot sends a big number of requests to the victim that creates heavy malscalous traffic targeted as a server. Starting from a certain number of bots, botnet creates the flow of requests uh, which exceed <laughs> the permissible level of any victim uh, server. Using of IP uh, fast hopping uh, algorithm requires the following new models. The first one Server. This is a new model here, uh, which validates legitimacy of the client. The number of routers owns IP pool for IP hopping. These routers, these routers uh, have installed IP hopper core, the special system utility. This utility implements rules of our approach. And the third one is IP, uh, IP Hopper Manager. IP Hopper Manager is a special server which is responsible for controlling the security connections established according to our protocol. Let me discuss a little bit about solution. First, DNS doesn't contain IP address of the protected server. DNS doesn't contain it. Instead of it, DNS redirects the client to authorization server. In case of successful authorization, this is a triple A server, it's not some use, this server checks that uh, the client has IP hopper core utility and initiates handshake between the utility and IP Hopper Manager. During the handshake, IP Hopper course installed on client side and H switches receive session ID. Session ID is the first parameters and IP pool. After that, the authorization server redirects client session on initial IP address. This address is used for consistency of upper levels than IP hopper core on client side. The core hooks all packets targeted to the initial address and replaces this address by an IP from IP, uh, uh, from IP pool. This uh, pool uh, is according to the pseudo random function. Pseudo random function can uh, choose uh, I, I, one IP address and after this uh, uh, another one. This pseudo random function uses the session ID uh, and packets timestamp as uh, arguments. Therefore, the destination address for, of each outgoing packets will be random and unpredictable for external observer. According to existing switching protocols, the packet calls to one of H routers. This router validates the IP address using the same pseudo random function with the same arguments. If the destination address is valid, the packet will be redirected to the real server's IP. Otherwise, the packet will be dropped. The same procedure will be applied for source addresses of source response. 
as basic implementation, we implement IP fast hopping mechanism as Linux kernel model. Uh, this is patented method. Okay. Uh, a Linux kernel contains built-in firewall net, lift, net filter, which is responsible on packet filtering and forwarding according to the predefined rules by IP tables. You can see here that if we use 64 IP address in the pool, we can uh, have the impact of uh, uh, IP open uh, 50 to 55 times. If we have 50 times more uh, attack intensity, we can decrease in 55 uh, times. Here we can see our uh, current implementation in SDN. Uh, this is experimental SDN. And uh, in this case, we use uh, special uh, open flow switches uh, for inspection, for inspection, uh, packet inspection, uh, uh, timestamp, and uh, session ID parameters. Used, uh, uh, we use these parameters for uh, change IP address according to pseudorandom uh, uh, pseudo rules. Advantages of this uh, approach is we have only uh, software and as SDM solution utilize existing network protocols. We have resistance to traffic interception, service protection against outer side access here, and uh, we can see here hidden data destination. So we presented the new approach to prevent brute force uh, uh, distributed denial of service attacks. The same method can be used to hide content and destination of communication session. Thank you uh, for your attention. Uh, me and my co-authors are here and uh, we can uh, talk about this approach uh, anytime during today or uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much. have access to large test bed, it will be great and now we work on the deployment SDN solution for Vibina. Thank you.